Okay, we have all seen the news and we know that measles is highly contagious and it is spreading in so many states throughout the country. In last week's video, I mentioned why here in Wisconsin, we're at risk for further spread of measles. This week, I wanna make sure you know exactly what to look for in your child in case they're exposed to measles. Now, the first phase of measles occurs about seven to 14 days after exposure. And this is what we call the three C's in association with a high fever. You'll see a persistent hacking cough, conjunctivitis, so red watery eyes, and coryza, or a runny nose and nasal congestion. Now, this is a unique sign in measles, and it can appear about two to three days after those first symptoms. They're called coplic spots. They're tiny white or bluish white spots that show up on the inside of the cheek near the back of the teeth. Now, about three to five days after the initial three C's, you see the classic measles rash appear. It's flat, red, or reddish brown, and blotchy, and it classically starts on the hairline and the forehead, and it'll spread downward to the neck, trunk, arms, and legs. Now, measles can cause severe complications like pneumonia or encephalitis, which is inflammation of the brain. This is especially true for those that haven't been vaccinated or have weakened immune systems. If you suspect your child has measles, call your pediatrician for next steps so they can guide you in when to seek care and how to prevent the spread to others. Remember, vaccines and herd immunity are the best way to keep your family and communities safe. Be sure to reach out to your healthcare provider with any concerns and follow Up North News and sign up for the newsletters via the link in the bio to keep up with next week's Raising Wisconsin. Stay safe. Until next time.